Open Heavens Devotional, December 2, 2023. Topic. The King of Kings. Memorize. Revelation 19:16. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings, and Lord of Lords. Read. Revelation 1, 5 and 6. 5. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the Prince of the Kings of the earth, unto him that loved us, and washed us from our sins in his own blood. 6. And hath made us kings and priests unto God and his Father, to him be glory and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. Message. In Philippians 2 10 and 11, the Bible says, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Jesus has dominion in heaven, on earth and underneath the earth. All knees only bow to a king when he is in his domain. The moment he enters another king's domain, he becomes subject to the laws of that kingdom. For Jesus however, the domain given to him is in heaven, on earth and underneath the earth. That is dominion so mighty that everywhere he goes, he is the king because all other kings must bow to him. That is why he is the king of all kings. Our Bible reading for today says Jesus has made us kings and priests unto God. Thus, for every child of God, there is a domain that is given to you to rule over. If you are in finance, you must rule the finance industry. If you are in entertainment, you must rule the entertainment industry. Whatever industry you are in, you are to rule as a king there. Many people think it is only in ministry that you are to represent God, that is not true. You are to represent God in your profession as well. You are to be a king there, doing the will of God. We cannot leave these industries for other people to rule, and then complain that they are not doing things God's way. We must get up and take our domains for God. To become the king of your industry, you must be the most hard-working person in that industry. You must be so good that you become a force to be reckoned with in your industry. This way, you will keep growing until you reach the top, until you become the king or queen of that industry. Only then would you have taken your domain for God. Enough of mediocrity amongst Christians, enough of staying away from leadership positions because we consider the people vying for these leadership positions as ungodly. Remember, salt is required when food is tasteless and light is only useful where there is darkness. You are the salt and light of the earth, Matthew 5 13 to 14. Go into the world and take over your territory. Reflection. Will you be one of God's children who will bring glory to his name by working hard to become a leader in your industry? Don't forget to share today's message with your loved ones of via WhatsApp and Facebook. Subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of Open Heaven Daily Devotional every morning.